A day one family will not soon forget. It started as just a normal trip Tuesday morning, but quickly turned to panic following a phone call from their child's school. A Harlan County four-year-old boy fell asleep and was left on a bus. A Good Samaritan later found him walking along the side of a road and took him to Kaywood Elementary. Today, his parents opened up about the incident. They told WIMT's Caleb No, it left them hesitant to send their kids back to school. I didn't know if it was okay. Thought she might have got froze to death, got hit by a car. I did it. I'm a good walker. I know it. <laughs> it's a phone call no parent wants to get. They called and said he had come to school and was upset, cold, said he had walked. School officials say four-year-old Abel Caldwell fell asleep on the bus Tuesday morning on the way to preschool. Did not get off at school, and the bus driver went and parked the bus, and then the uh, student got out of the bus after he had been parked, and the bus driver had went away. They say the boy then got off the bus and started walking, then was picked up by a man named Johnny Logan, who drove him to school. Now, this guy had brought him in, wanted to know if he went there, whose child he was, and said that he had found him on the side of the road walking. A situation his parents say could have turned out much worse. If, you know, if that had, I know that's one of them what ifs, but if that had yeah, happened, sorry, does it care? They weren't doing their jobs. They say their child was saved by a stranger on the side of the road. In Harlan County, Caleb No, WYMT Mountain News. The superintendent said he's thankful the child was found safe. The school bus driver did not check the bus before getting off, which broke school district protocol. We are told disciplinary action will be taken following the investigation. Officials hope to prevent similar situations with new technology in school buses. It's designed to make sure that bus drivers conduct a post-trip inspection or at least walk to the back of the bus. It works by arming the bus when there are children on board. Before the bus is turned off, the driver must disable an alarm, but the only way to disable it is by walking to the back. He must go to the back of the bus, uh, and therefore if you're going to the back of the bus, you're going to see if there's anybody on the bus. They say about one-third of the school buses in Harlan County already have the new technology.